hello everyone in the previous video we uh, created our create and edit plate so now the time is to close them from there and uh, open the index page this one so here we are going to build a simple bootstrap table so this is uh, i'm shooting this uh, live so that's why i'm not going to skip any steps so bootstrap 5 table okay so let's go to the bootstrap file so this is the extension i have installed this so suggesting me the top at the top so i'm going to the bootstrap uh, website and copy the stuff from there okay it's a table mm, copy this go back and uh, paste it here okay i pasted this here so let me remove the other entries instead of only one okay so i have removed them so give it a refresh and yes our tables are looking cool so let me remove this uh, uh, so what is this so why it's displaying this line thicker okay so it's oh it's due to this one right so let me make this td it will also no it's not this one uh, it's through this maybe scope row I'll give it a refresh and still it's not <laughs> due to this maybe it's going to uh, through this uh, scope but I'm not sure mm, I think it's uh, due to this okay remove this stuff and give it a refresh it will not disappear okay so let's leave this so it's coming from this bootstrap 5 okay so and now the time is to display our title and description and completed or not so here we are going to first to display the title title and then what is the next so next we are going to display the description description and then here we are uh, displaying that uh, uh, completed or not right completed or not so here we are also going to display the actions right so we are going to display the edit and delete and stuff like that so we are not uh, going to uh, we are going to remove them from there and uh, we are going to add the dynamic things here right so before uh, jumping to the dynamics we need to first to create these dynamic into the uh, by using this create form in the to do table and then we are going to build our uh, then we are going to display them on the index file so let's go to this create plate and uh, here we are we have this form so now submit the, uh, now the time is to submit this form so how we can submit this so we are going to create a post route and then we are going to set this here so let me uh, copy this stuff and paste it here and here you need to type post because we are uh, using the post route and type this store right so we are going to make this crud so in here you need to type the store method right so i'm naming this uh, store okay and uh, here let's uh, return something so i'm going to return the request all which we are coming from the form so this is the request to uh, request to object uh, not object it's a request class so you need to use this request class to you can get the uh, you can get the very uh, which can get the all of the fields from the form using this request okay type request and uh, in the uh, future videos we are going to create a separate request and then use this request but for now we are not uh, going to use this because uh, we are just testing this our to do app right so let's go to the form and here now we need to go to this form and we need to first define its method we need to define its post method because we uh, created the post route and then we need to type its action where this form will go when we click on this submit so we are going to make this more stretchy sign and type route so we are going to assign a route that it will go to this route so we are going to make this uh, to do's 
to-dos dot store right so go to this store one why it's not suggesting me because i did not save this right okay so now it's completed and here you need to add a csrf token so if you are not familiar with this csrf token this is used for cross-site attacks so this uh uh, this CSRF token verify that we are submitting this form from this our app not from any other site okay 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 our form is ready so now the time is to give it a refresh so let me go to the create one and here so let's fill this uh, title and description and submit this so we are right dumping this and yes our title is there our description is there and our token is there right so this is generating from this csrf token so here we can also validate our user that uh, user can enter the string or, or something like uh, user can't enter the integers or like this so we can put the validation so let's dive into the validation so we are uh, in the next video we are going to validate the enter the validation here so we are going to create a new request so I will meet you in the next video. So next video is going amazing. So I will meet you in the next one. Bye bye.